Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. I got a request to make something with an owl. So I went online and found this super cute picture that I thought would look awesome using the food coloring and Mod Podge faux stained glass technique. Faux stained glass DIY using food coloring and Mod Podge. Please turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. Let's get started. Print out your image to the size you want. I printed mine out at 120%. Using a piece of glass, I used the glass from an old clock. You're going to trace the image using a permanent marker. You can also use a piece of plastic. When tracing the image, remember that you're going to be filling in each spot with color and if it's too small, it's not going to look right. I decided to leave out some of the very small details on the owl as you see here. After I was done tracing, I freehanded the rest of the design. If you make a mistake, just use alcohol and a cotton swab to clean it off. The next part is the part that takes the longest. Using any kind of puffy paint you want. I used fabric puffy paint because it's the one I have. Outline the whole thing carefully. You might have to do part of it, let it dry, and then do the rest so you don't smudge it. But if you happen to smudge it by mistake, just clean it off right away and it'll be fine. While that's drying, matching some markers to the food coloring I will be using, red, blue, yellow, green, purple, and pink, which I didn't end up using, I colored the printout to give me an idea of how I was going to color the glass. I outlined the image in black first and then colored it in. I end up changing the color slightly when I did the glass. Once the outline is fully dry, take a cotton swab with alcohol and clean off all the permanent marker markings that show. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I have to or it'll drive me crazy with my OCD self. <laughs> also, it takes about an hour, hour and a half for the puffy paint to dry. I always leave mine overnight just to make sure. Now it's time for the fun part, coloring it in. Pour a little bit of Mod Podge Super Gloss Brilliant in a small container. I use my old egg containers. I put about four drops of food coloring and mix it up. When mixing it, go slow, not like you see me doing, because I think it causes it to crack more, as it says in the back of the Mod Podge not to shake this sealer. Prepare the rest of the colors the same way, and then you can start coloring in your design. And yes, you can buy the glass paints, but I had food coloring and Mod Podge already, so why not? Using a paintbrush, color in the whole design. If you want to switch colors, have some water and a paper towel handy to quickly clean the brush before switching colors. This part is so relaxing, and that's why I did this project this week. I needed something chill to make, because I've got some big ones coming up that y'all been requesting, and let's just say I'm going to be telling myself there's no need to cry. <laughs> but I'm very excited to get started and show you all what I have in store. When I got to the eyes, I decided to use all the colors to match what I was planning to do with his feathers. I put red, blue, purple, green, and yellow. I repeated the pattern until the entire eye was colored. Make sure to wipe the brush on the paper towel in between colors. Color the whole thing and set it aside to dry.
Once it's dry, you might see some cracks in it. I'm thinking this happened because I mixed the sealer with the food coloring way too fast. Either way, it still looks good and just adds to the look. This is just an inexpensive way to get a faux stained glass look. It's fun for the kids to do or great for small projects. If you want to make a bigger project, they sell glass paints at any craft store or online. As a matter of fact, one of our very own family members found a store online that sells the gallery glass paints and other craft supplies at good prices and was kind enough to share it with me. I'll leave the link in the description box below in case you're interested in checking it out. Disclaimer, I myself have never bought anything from this site and I'm not being sponsored. Shop at your own discretion. After it was completely dry, I outlined the edge of the glass with the puffy paint and let that dry. To hang it, I used a small binder clip and a suction cup with a hook. And that's it! I think this came out so cute and would be such a fun craft for the kids. You can pick their favorite cartoons or even animal they like. Do the outlining and let it dry. And then they could color it in themselves. Imagine all the different designs you could do and how fun when they get to see what they colored in get lit up by the sun. I just thought of something else that might look amazing. You can do this on a shadow box. Fill the shadow box with fairy lights and now you have a faux stained glass piece you can hang on your walls. You can even use it as a decorative night light for the young ones. As always, have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new here, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.